and be on my screen. So I'm going to zoom. Zoom Z spacebar. I want to see it all, so E for extents. E spacebar. Z, E. Zoom, extents. All right, there we are. Look at that. Now, just like on my uh, my my digital phone, you know, I, I've <laughs> I've got the ability to kind of pinch zoom, and also if you've got a, a mouse sitting over here, you've got a little wheel on the mouse, you can use that as well. Comes in kind of handy. All right, so you know, bada bing, bada boom. Now, this is obviously a measured square. All right, I'm going to show you how to offset. What is an offset? An offset is just basically I'm drawing a line on either side of these lines. All right. So the first offset I'm going to do, I'm going to say this 22 inch circle here, I'm going to go seven inches. Okay. I love the number seven. I, th I think it's a good number. Um, I think I've, I've extended my text here too small. I can't see. <laughs> That's what I get for pinch zooming, right? Okay, anywho, okay, uh, there we are. Now, I'm going to escape out of everything to make sure that I'm free of any commands. Offset begins with an O, so O space. Now it's asking me, specify the offset distance. Well, I did say I wanted 7, so 7 space, or enter. So I'm going to use space. Boom and boom. Look at that. Boom and boom. Boom. You see how if I hit the line, then I select the inside, it does it that way. Now if I hit the line and select the outside, it does it that way. Okay. Now, you didn't just see that, but I trust that it's there. Escape, zoom, space, Z space, E space, zoom extends. There it is, okay? Now, that's an offset. Boy, what a mess I've just made, right? I'm going to show you another command. And this command, coming over here, I see something here called extend, right below it. Edit length, okay? Oh, well, that's cool. That's like a trim, right? So, then there's another thing here, chamfer. We talked about that in class. And then yet another command called fillet. Well, fillet's just another word for radius. So click on that. You know, I'm not telling you to click much, but click on it, okay? Now, it's ready to radius whatever I tell it to radius. Right there, I touch two entities and it'll round it. But if I don't want it to be rounded, maybe I want it just to clean up lines. So I'm going to go ahead, while I'm in the command, hit R for radius and then space. If you look down here, you see that. And it's asking for the radius amount. I'm going to leave it at zero. Zero, enter. So watch what happens now that I've zeroed it. If I hit this line and then this line, it's going to make a radius there of a zero value. Just like that. Space to repeat. Boom. Boom. Space to repeat, boom, boom, space to repeat, boom, boom, okay? Now, these are just annoying me because, I, you know, I created them and all. So I'm going to erase them. Now, what do you think the command for erase would be? That Well, let's see, it starts with E. Probably it's an E, E space. All right, but for erase, I'm going to select around something, make a window. See that? Enter, or, or spacebar. Repeat the command by, by clicking it again. Okay. Escape out. All right, so I showed you radius with a zero value, and I used it to clean up those lines. Let me do it again, but this time, I'm going to give that radius, I hit R space. Instead of a zero value, I'm going to go with seven. Okay. I'm going to click here. And here, look at that. Spacebar to repeat. I'm going to go over here and here. Do it again. Now, just in case you didn't see how I did that, I'm going to enter in these numbers again. 
I go over here to my radius or fillet, okay? Click on that little dude. Wait a minute, what did I do? Escape, escape, escape. When in doubt, escape out, okay? Back to fillet. I click that. All right, all these words come up down here, and you see these blue highlighted words? The R that I type in stands for radius, okay? So R space. Now it's asking me for the radius amount, and I've already put in seven, so I'm gonna accept that by hitting space again. And look, my pick box is here. My cross here's disappeared, and there's my pick box. So now click and click, spacebar to repeat, click and click. <clears throat> At this point, take a few minutes and offset this box in both directions by maybe two inches and try radiusing it. See what the offset does when you hit the radius and then when you're done with that, select the radius command and radius these inside corners here. So for now, let's stick with line, offset, and radius. And then when we're done with that, you can actually copy. Um, and now for copy, because there's so many words with C, like circle and copy and, and clip and, and just different, different entity selections, copy is C-O, and then of course spacebar, and uh, circle is C-I, and then spacebar, um, or you can type C-I-R, or you can type out the whole word. It, it's just not that picky. The software is really good like that. All right, so um, let's have a little fun with that and uh, see what we can do. When you're done playing with the circle command, um, we're going to talk about how you can trim circle. <clears throat> so I'm going to set aside your little um, project, what I've just asked there, and I'm going to go ahead and type in CIR, enter. That's circle. Now, it's asking for two point, three point, arc multiple. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm going to select the center, but look at this. I'm not selecting anything. We haven't talked about snapping. F3. Up here, F3. I'm going to click that. And all of a sudden, it's going to snap to the end point there. It's selecting a point. Look at how far away my crosshair is from that point. Just look at that for a second. And yet, when I select it, I'm dead on that point. That's the power of snapping. Okay? Now, um, there's my circle, but I haven't given it a diameter or a radius. Remember we talked about diameter being the whole of the circle's distance versus radius being half. Radius is always half of diameter. I'm going to go D space because I'm going to enter a diameter and let's call that diameter well, 7. 7 is a good number. It's uh, the perfect number and, um, you know, uh, a good number God gave us. So. Boom, there it is, a seven inch diameter circle. Now, uh, you can do all kinds of things to cheat on your math homework once you figure out how to measure and everything, because the software will do that for you. And I'll, I'll show you how to cheat on your math homework much later in this. Uh, but for now, um, to pretend that I'm a good teacher here, I'm not going to show you how to cheat on your math homework just yet. Um, oh, what the heck. Double click on that little dude. Look at there. There's all kinds of information. It tells you the area, the circumference. Now, you don't have to do 2 pi r. Remember, we talked about 2 pi r, 2 times pi r, pi 3.141592658593 times the radius. Okay, there's your radius. Look at there. All right, you don't have to do any thinking. It's all right there. Okay, anyway, we've done it. I've shown you. Done. Um, escape, escape, escape. Go away. Uh, do not show this message again. Now, let's make that go away. Ah, there we go. Okay, I made that go away. Now, <clears throat> escape, escape, escape. Let's do trim, TR. Last command I'm going to show you for this video. TR, space bar, okay? The entity to trim by. I'm going to select this one and this one. 
this is what I want to use to trim, okay? Space bar to select it, the entity to trim, gonna be this one, watch. Oh, that's so nice. All right, space bar, I'm done. Let's re-enter that command. Boom, I'm in it, space bar. This time, the entity to trim by, I'm gonna select the circle. Space bar, my selection's done. Now the things to trim, boom. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Space bar and I'm out of the command. How cool was that? You can play with circle all day long. This is just how you learn. And these are the basics. Once you get these down, we can start doing measured problems. And once we start doing measured problems, all of this stuff just really is child's play and begins to look a lot like a video game. And so just a bunch of fun. So there you have it.